Replacing a radiator fan is a pretty simple repair that most people can do themselves in just a few minutes. Uh, most cars are pretty similar. The radiator and the radiator fan is at the front of the car towards the top uh, and they don't have too much equipment on top of them, if none at all. Uh, so therefore there's not really that much you have to remove to access it. Uh, the radiator fan is usually right behind the radiator and um, I'm going to show you how to do it on this Nissan Pathfinder 2013. So first of all, there's a cosmetic piece, this plastic piece that's held in place by these little plastic uh, grommets. And I'm not sure if that's the right term, but that's what they are. Uh, most cars are the same. You just get a flathead screwdriver, place it underneath the grommet, pop it up like that. And I've already done these ones right here. And then this panel, once you've done all of them, and there's several on this one, so about eight to ten. This piece will come right off. The next part is removing this section of the air filtration system, and that's pretty easy. You just take a screwdriver, Phillips head on this one, and take these screws off right here. And this part actually just comes out like this and then pops off. There's no coolant or anything than that. This is just an air filter. Air goes through this. Now that the air filter section and the top piece are removed, you can see the radiator fan right here. This is in one piece. So there's one fan and the second fan all connected in one piece. And this is the control module down here that connects it all. This hose has to be moved out of the way. So we're gonna unclip it from here and just push it back so we can access the retaining screws at the top. In addition to removing, or uh, just disengaging this clip right here to loosen up the coolant hose, the next step is to unplug these electrical connections down here. And they will pull right off if you just push in, push in the tabs on the plug. They'll pull right off just like that. The next step is to unscrew the radiator. On this radiator, it has Phillips head screws. Here's one of them. I'm going to use this little handy screwdriver. It's like a sideways mount right here. I'm going to get under there and just unscrew that screw right there. Uh, some radiators are more accessible, uh, some you need to use a, a wrench, uh, they don't have Phillips head, they, they require a wrench. On this radiator, in order to move it out, we have to remove these electrical clips. So what you have to do is you have to push down on this little lever, this pulls up, and then it clips out like that. We have to do it on these three in order to get these out of the way. Now because of the tight fit, we've removed the plugs, we also need to remove the battery so that we have enough room to slide this out. To get this off, we can't use our wrench, this one, uh, because I need to swing it to the side here and there's not enough room. So I'm going to use a socket wrench with a trusty number 10, it's a very common size and that fits right on there and that'll come right off and you can see I, I like to use this little magnet bowl right here to keep all of the screws and bolts in without falling out it's really useful I highly recommend it and now the battery comes out and this is the just a battery cover in here I wouldn't recommend putting the battery on the floor um, just put it on like a plastic cart or something off the floor. And then the last thing we need to remove is the cover in order for the uh, radiator hose to be out of the way. So we do this again with the number 10 and these four bolts right here. tricky but it's out this is the old one and this is our new one 
so you can see the wire harnesses are a little different but essentially they have the same plug right here so now getting in getting this one back in is the next hard part So you can see now the new radiator fan is in there. We just gotta tighten it up, plug it in, and we're good to go. So now we have all the parts back in place, let's turn this on. You can see right here that it is turning on. Great job. 